Look at how good this light looks! I feel like every beginning to my tea videos these days is like, I was tired. Uh, I'm out of it. I don't know. I'm gonna eat some tea stuff and tell you about it. And guess what? This one's no different. Let's get started. <gasps> oh God! I threw water everywhere. Whoops. Ah! That's where I'm at today. I've been trying to categorize things, like we have the Pocky video, and then we have the things like Oreos video, and what have you. And today I found all the little rando things that I had scattered about that don't seem like they fit into any category at all. And now we're gonna eat them because they're weird and I wanted to try some weird stuff today. Let's get started. We're gonna start with this little weirdo thing here that I've opened before and I tried a long time ago and we know how that always goes. So fingers crossed that this one isn't stale again. It's by Morinaga, Morinaga, yeah. This is a pretty popular company. Oh look, you can actually kind of see it. That's exciting for once. They're called Bake, I think. Or maybe that's just the only English word in the package. According to the translation that I have here, this is a chocolate cracker. I don't really know what that means. So I'm just gonna pull them out. They're these funny little log things. They're chocolate on the outside, some green tea on the inside. That's really all you need to know. I'm gonna eat it now. I remember why I didn't finish these when I opened them the first time. They're just weird. Thank God, first of all, they're not stale. I don't think we're gonna have any stale products in this video. Go me, for once being a responsible adult. <laughs> That'll never happen again. Oh God, I'm gonna eat more of these so I can tell you about them, aren't I? So you open it up and they come in these little, this little tray. I don't even know how to describe this. It's just weird. I mean, I don't hate it, but I don't like it. What are you? I don't even know how to describe this, but we're gonna try for you. I'm gonna eat another one and try to describe this and not just grimace and look sad. Sorry if I'm like moving around a lot. I'm feeling a little off the wall right now. I just need to be moving around. Hope it doesn't bother you. If it does, sucks to suck. All right, okay. They're soft, first of all, which I think by looking at them, I was not expecting. But so you bite into it and it's immediately crunchy for like half a second and then it's just mushy. It's just like mush. And maybe I'm just not a fan of the texture, the mush texture. No, I'm also not a fan of the flavor. It's just such a strange flavor. I honestly don't even know where to begin to describe it. But I'm just gonna go ahead and say that this is the loser of the video. I haven't even tried any of the other things, but this one is the loser. You get last place. I don't know, try it if you want to, but I don't recommend this one. I'm gonna put it away because it makes me sad and eat something that will hopefully make me happy because this is not it. Next! So this is a latte brand. I think that's how you pronounce it. I love this brand. Here's what it looks like. Obviously I said I really like this brand. They make really good chocolate. I don't think I've ever had anything by them that wasn't good. So I have high hopes for this. This is a green tea wheat cracker. I don't really know what that means, but the picture tells us most of what I think we need to know. So let's just go ahead and dig into these. Got a little pull tabby tab. That's always a satisfying sound. How do I open you? Ah, I got it. Well, that's a box. Opened it up. There's more stuff. They're shiny. I don't know about you, but this looks like a recipe or something, but I can't read it. So we're just gonna ignore it. Okay, so we pull them out and they're in this. How do I open you? What the heck is this? I don't think I opened it right, but I don't care. These smell confusing. Here they are. They look also confusing. They're sm this is the most confusing thing I've ever smelled. All right, let's just go ahead and dig in. Oh, well, here's a, here's a close up of one. Clearly tea filled. They kind of look like those oyster crackers that you put in soup, but bigger and clearly full of tea. Let's go. What are you? Oh. I'm super into this. I don't understand it, but I like it. The texture is familiar, but I can't put my finger on it. What are you? Okay, I'm going to do my best to describe this despite the fact that I'm still extremely confused by what is going on in my mouth. 
don't take that out of context. The flavor of the cracker is very familiar, but I cannot put my finger on it. It's a sort of flaky texture. You bite into it and you get a lot of the cracker first and after you've chewed the cracker for a little bit, then you get the flavor of the tea. And it's not overpowering, but it's there and it's it's a good amount. And the flavor of the cracker, biscuit, whatever thing, it's good. It's, what is it? What do you taste like? <gasps> Oh, 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 I know what it is. Elephant ears. Yeah, that's what they're called, right? Those giant flaky pastry thingy things that they, those, they taste like those. Oh, I like it. Okay, that's what it is. So they taste like elephant ears, but small and with green tea in them. They're good. Definitely recommend trying these ones. Yes, for sure. Next, so this is a thing. This is what they are. I don't know what they are, but this is what they are. The translation is cookie. That's awesome, great, good job, guys. This is a cookie. I have literally no idea what this is, so we're just gonna open it up and try it. So, we pull one out. They're each individually wrapped in these little cute packets. I don't know what is up with Japan individually wrapping everything. This is a trend. I don't get it, but it's a thing. Okay. So here it is. Here's the unwrapped thing. It pretty much looks like the picture on the bag, which is good. There's no false advertisement here. It looks like a flaky wafery type cookie rolled up with some green tea chocolate inside. That's my guess. Let's find out. That's pretty much exactly what this is. Go me. It's almost like a thick waffle cone, actually. It's like that cardboard cookie flavor. Not in a bad way, but you know what I mean. I don't dislike these. Definitely better than the first things I tried. Those are super weird, but they're not my favorite. Not because they're not good. It's just a, the balance of flavors is not quite what I want because the cookie, is there's a little bit too much of it. It's a little bit too thick and it overpowers the tea, which is not in fact a chocolate so much as it is a cream. So you bite into it and it almost immediately dissipates. Gone. And you're left with much more of the cookie flavor than you are with the tea flavor. If you watch my Oreo video, you know how I feel about when the cookie overpowers the tea. Not cute! Don't like that! I want my tea! I'm not paying for your cookie, I'm paying for the tea! Okay, chill out. Yeah, that's the verdict on these. Not my fave, but if you are looking for a thick ice cream cone with a touch of green tea, then I guess try these. Oh, I didn't tell you what brand they are. French Tahiro. I don't know why they're called that, because they're definitely from Japan. Next, green tea pirouettes. This is a, hopefully a familiar thing to a lot of you people. There's a map. Pirouettes are these. These are they. They are this. That's all I got. How do I open you? All right, so we're opening them up. Now, for the record, I don't know if I've ever had an actual pirouette. Yeah, I don't know, but I'm excited. Here they are. Wow, that's very vividly green. Look at that, that's beautiful. I don't know if you think that's beautiful, but if you don't, why are you watching this video? Because that is a beautiful color. Time to eat the thing. Those are yummy. Okay, I like these. They're sweet, but not too sweet, which I like. They're definitely sweeter than a lot of green tea things, but they haven't quite crossed the line of too sweet, in my opinion. The right amount of flaky and light, very dangerous. You could probably sit and down a whole box of these before you've even known what has happened. The only downside to these is now my mouth feels a little bit dry, and I'm not a huge fan of the after food weirdo dry feeling thing. They're green tea pirouettes. They're good. Yeah, I like these. Okay, the only problem I have right now actually with these pirouettes is they are very crumbly. And I don't want to make a mess because I don't want ants. And this is how you get ants. Next, are these weirdo things. Here they are. They're strange. This is what they look like. I think I may have gotten these a year ago. I got them at a convention and I remember seeing them and thinking these things look super weird. I don't know what they are, but we're gonna try them. They say that they're chocolate crepes, like little baby matcha crepes. I mean, it's Nico brand, which also has a pretty good track record of making good things. So I have to imagine that 
They're probably good. They look super weird, but we're going to dig in and find out. So once again, we have individually wrapped things. Here is the individual package. Here it is. Here it is. It just says chocolate, 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 chocolate all the way around it. it. Smells like green tea chocolate. Here is what it looks like. Nice little circular thing coated in green tea chocolate. It looks very thin, but with a very thick layer of chocolate, as you can see. So I don't know if that's going to be a good thing or a bad thing. We'll find out. That was a weird experience. I guess it does kind of taste like a crepe. Now that I've finished eating it, I like it better than while I was eating it. It was a little bit overwhelming with the amount of chocolate just because the cracker cookie, whatever it is, is so thin, you expect an equivalent amount of chocolate and then it's just like, chocolate, chocolate, which is not necessarily a bad thing. It's very sweet. But again, not overpoweringly so, probably an equivalent amount of sweetness to the pirouettes, but different. I mean, it's the difference between chocolate sweet and cookie sweet because there's no chocolate in the pirouettes. The cookie in this kind of might as well not even be there. I couldn't quite tell if there was any flavor from it, to be honest. I'm sure there is. It's just there's so little of it, it gets swallowed up by the chocolate. It just adds a little bit of crunch to it i don't know in conclusion are we writing a middle school paper here in conclusion today we learned that things that have chocolate on them taste like chocolate i don't know what is wrong with my brain but sometimes those things come out of it i would apologize but i'm not sorry what the heck was i talking about if you want to try a baby heavily chocolate coated green tea crepe, then definitely worth trying these. Okay, I was not expecting these to be the winner of today's video, but they are. These are the winners. These are the winners of the video today. They're going to be living in here, and they're probably gonna be gone really quickly. Oh yeah, I'm uh, repping my pizza john today. Google it. Yeah, so that's all I have for you today. I ate some weird snacks. I told you about them. I will put links to all of the products in the description below. So if you decide you want to try them out, you can do so. And if you do, let me know about it. Also, if you've already tried them, you want to tell me about it, please tell me about it. I like to know things. Tell me things. Leave a comment. Do it anyways. Even if, I don't know, leave a comment about anything. Have I said anything useful in this entire video? I don't know. I'm done now. If you like my weird, I don't know what's going on with my brain antics today, give this video a like. If you want to see more of these kinds of things or the other weirdo stuff that I do, subscribe. Once again, I still don't know what the heck to do for my outro, so I'm gonna uh, keep trying things out that are terrible. I don't know what I'm talking about anymore, so I'll see y'all next time. Bye. Was that cringy as all hell? This is me not caring. Bye. Bye.